Not yet, Captain! Not yet, Captain! I need to raise the volume on Mysterio. Don't worry, I'll stay quiet for the cutscene. Did you say my good China or I could shine ya? Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if you had real robots to play with, Patrick? I think mine, Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Cranky. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick, aren't you going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisa Tiki Tana Pushbar Griddle Bits Von Venus Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! And last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever! Good night, Spongebob! Good night, Patrick! See you next, Melvin. <laughs> Man, this brings a lot of memories when I was a kid. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Wow! Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. That's pull the R trigger to read the signs, not push this button to read the signs. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Do it again! Also, I just realized something. Because I'm used to the Switch controller, I'm gonna really mix up the A and B button a lot, aren't I? Oh well, let's practice the thing. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Sure. Let's talk to Gary, even though I wanted to talk to the sign, but... Yeah, okay. Let's go in here. Oh! Oh, no. I remember this. Just... listen. A note from Mr. Krabs! 
can it even smell sweaty? Just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head training object collector. That is not the voice of Mr. Krabs. Who is this phony? Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the guy who's voicing him. But it's just it's that's just not the voice of Mr. Krabs. So who is this guy? Well, these are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along in his quest. Yeah, that one green shiny object on the fridge. Who cares? There's a bunch of them collect them, got it. Let's go in here. The, the, our controller controls the camera. Move the thing around. And, okay, so... Okay, I got that now. And the X button is to swing your bubble wand around. Alright, I think I got this game down pat now. Now I gotta go in here. Alright. Alright. I'm not really bouncing, I'm just pressing the A button, but... They jump by pressing the A button. Pressing the A button while the sponge while uh, the SpongeBob is in the middle air will cause him to double jump. Man, I am bad at reading. Alright, let's go up here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Alright. What's this? This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or services. Like this. Ow! Once Spongebob has lost all of his underwear, he must start that area over again. Spongebob may get back underwear- wait, wait. Okay, so that's like a oh, life. Got it. But wait, can I actually just get game-ended by just this? Whoop, hang on. This is important. I must know. Hold on, okay, gotta do it again, one more time. Ah, oh, no I can't, okay. Okay, okay, whatever. Alright, now we go in here. Old, old what? What, like, books? Comic books? What? Okay, what's this? Press the Y button when you on the ground and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash. Okay, or push buttons and destroy robots and objects. Let's try it out. Alright. And now we push the button. And now we have a little ball. And then we get the shiny object here. B button in midair and SpongeBob will do a bubble bounce attack. So, like, kind of a ground pound move? No, okay, not a ground pound. Kind of. I missed. Alright, here we go. Alright. Whee! Press the X button and do a bubble spin. Alright, it's an attack, you gotta do it. Super combo, ultra combo! What do you say? Pressing the circle button, uh... I don't have a circle button, all I see is just arrows for back and start. Okay, let's let's try it anyway. Oh, okay. It's the pause button, got it. And now I gotta... Alright, cool. Oh, gotta fix the camera around. And now we gotta get the ball to go over there. Wait, where'd it go? Oh well, let's get it back. Alright, sure, sure. Pushing buttons is satisfying. Alright, just go over there. All right, let's go. No, hey, get back here. Oh, okay, so I have to push the right stick in like the opposite direction to get it to where I want it to go. Oh, okay. All right, get up there to get the sock. Why? Why do I even have a sock? Is that like for laundry or something? Ah, I, I mixed up the thing again. All right, let's. Alright! 
Wait, what's the point of this one? Oh, okay, it's the other way around. Alright, let's get out of here. We're done here. Whee! Alright! What was this? Golden spatula! Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas! Ah! Okay! We got our first one! Ay 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 Alright, let's get out of here now! Finally, we can exit the house! Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sound of your own neighborhood. Oh, oh there's, there's Mr. Krabs. Go away, SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Sorry. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. Um, uh, SpongeBob, Plankton's down there. And also, wow, they really upscaled Plankton in this game. He's a lot smaller, like he was like the size of SpongeBob's foot. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Perfect, all right. Let's grab these ones and... Hey, it's Mr. Krabs, voiced by the... Bob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? Ah, okay, that, that was weird. There was a little, cr cr little crab thing but on there. Because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. I just realized now that they're called pinchers. You will. Slash claws. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. We okay, fine. Let's go. Uh, just smack this jellyfish for no reason. Grab some shiny objects and just well save the world. Let's go here. You need five golden spatulas to enter the downtown bikini bottom. All right, all right. Oh, well, I can go to jellyfish fields. That's that's kind of cool. But I want to get th this area over with as soon as I can. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. What? Sorry, the music's really loud. What'd you say? Oh, just dropping the by to give him a hand. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat a giant monkey man. Oh, what? But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Okay, first off, let me change something here. Needed to lower the volume of the music. And, uh, second of all, that is not a new move! I learned that one when I was in the house. Also, let's destroy these for extra money. Alright. Also, was that the voice of Bubble Buddy? Like, I don't really... Man. This just shows you how old this game is. <laughs> well, that or how, well, kind of scratched up my game is. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten 
socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. Sounds good. You mean spatula? Bless you. Thanks, man. Hey, let me go, uh, b buzz in your house real quick. After all, I'm only doing this to save the world. Huh. Well, there you are. Just got to destroy a couch, and there you are. Yes, this is my favorite music. Yes, we can annoy Squidward. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game. Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I shut me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Alright, we got ourselves another golden spatula by literally doing what he asked us to do and just... What? Oh, okay. Well, oh, there were some pixels up at the top there. But yeah, just do what he says and you get yourself a golden spatula. Yeah, some people may not really know that with this game, that that's the way you get a golden spatula. But yeah, you just destroy stuff in here, you get a thing and uh... You get a sock, and then you just jump around ten times to, uh, get Golden Patula. I just realized, I just said Golden Patula. What is a Patula? Ooh, what's this button do? Huh. For some reason to me, it just feels like the music is actually still louder than the game, like, the people talking. Yeah! Oh wait, there's another button! 40 seconds for platforms. And oh, there's a golden spatula hiding up there, huh? Let's go get it! Bam! Alright, and then we go here. To go up here, go up here. Oh, no. Okay. There we go, we got ourselves another golden spatula! Yeah, yeah. All right, I think I got just about everything I could in this place. So let's go to Jellyfish Fields. Why did that taxi sound like a bus? Ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Hey, there's another skill and spatula. Oh. Where, where did the okay? where did the bandages come from? No, I'm not okay, ah. you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Can you take like five steps back from the camera, please? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! My eyes! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual. Severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off the scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Okay then. Also, how do you know about Spork Mountain? Don't you hate jellyfishing and you really don't, like, rarely go to jellyfish fields unless the plot demands it? But wait! 
that's not important. We have this guy who really just doesn't like me. There we go. And now we can just destroy this and just go on with our day. This is goo. That That's water. We are in water and there's water in water. And you're calling water goo? Okay. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim. So don't let them fall in the goo. Okay. Huh. Well, thankfully, there are infinite lives in this game, so there's no real worry about dying aside from, well, just going to the last place you had a checkpoint at. This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes, teleport boxes in the area open, telebox boxes, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Let's open it before I forget. And explore more. Go over here. Collect additional one. Blah, 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 blah. We already learned that. I tried game ending myself earlier, but it didn't work. All right. Ooh, a hidden area over here. Get out of here. Underwear up there. I don't need. Get rid of these robots. Pretend I said tiki's, please. Let's grab the sock. All right. Dang it! If SpongeBob walks too far out of the gameplay area, he will be placed back at the last checkpoint. Thanks. Even though that wasn't really the out of gameplay area, that was more a cliff. Just look at this terrified face of SpongeBob as he's running away from the danger of robots. And now, they're gone now. Do you want to feed the clam 125 shiny objects to complete the bridge? Well, I may have enough. Alright! Now we can continue on with the game! Another sign. This is a checkpoint. If you were defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint. Instead of at the beginning of the area. Really? Let's test it out! Hey, it's true! You know, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. Just getting our new checkpoint at the beginning of the area, our first level. Thanks for watching the first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I hope you enjoyed it, and see y'all in the next episode! Oh, hey, I can see the chum bucket all the way from over here!